Hello, it's uh, David Cole, Mike David Buildings here. Uh, show y'all a project to watch out for. A lot of times you get what you pay for. And uh, the erectors and the building manufacturer did a terrible, terrible thing on this on this building. It's a terrible design uh, where they've got this piece of L trim here that uh, just to kind of cover up or they've got like double lap it'll do nothing but collect trash in this and eventually and all that rust out and this building is so out of whack even I don't know if you can look here up on the roof line and then you can see that they don't even have an overhang it just uh, talk about problems and leaks and then how this thing and all that was constructed, just like here, even look in the corners. I mean, look at this. <laughs> they didn't even secure, secure this thing down. And then here, you can come on over here, and then you can see where they used. And I always hate when they try to use just a uh, an abrasive saw to cut this metal. This is ridiculous. They should have never done it this way and cut into it. But if they, if you do use one, <laughs> touch up paint this. You know, it's just because it's going to do nothing but rust. Uh, of course, they left off the, the, the rake trim. But I don't know if you can look in close. You can see a lot of these are missing. Where they didn't even fasten down. They didn't even get the angle. <clears throat> well, I will show you on the inside. Just a horrible job, a horrible job, like here. It's uh, where they've cut. <laughs> they should have never cut into the J trim. And then look down here where it's not even fastened. Look at that. Look at that. That is just horrible, horrible, horrible. They didn't even do the concrete right on this project. Uh, so I always recommend, man, you get the building and all that plump first. Put your J trim and stuff and all that on first before you go to sheet. Get your base trim. And your J trim, everything plumbed up and right. I just wish that these erectors would do this stuff. Uh, you know, just like even here, if you can see this, look how terrible that is. Look at that cut. It's just, oh my gosh, it's just unbelievable. But you can see how it's already starting to get rust. But doing it the way this manufacturer did this thing is going to be nothing but create problems, dirt and trash to get inside here. Uh, they didn't even put the lock set on <laughs> and these doors are ter terrible 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 not even plumbed up right and you can see what they did the same thing here cutting in the trim is just oh oh my gosh it just makes me so sick and then down here they didn't even screw the panel let's see how I pull out look at that that's just ridiculous. Um, and they left off. They left off the base trim and all that over here on this one. And none of these. No screws. Look at that. The wind's even kind of blowing at. Look at that. <laughs> it's just sad. And they did the same thing and all that over here. The roof. You can see there's no overhang there in in the roof. But all down alongside this. It's not even secured. It's just sad. And then this door here, I don't even think that it'll even, uh, there it goes. It just, it, it opened, but man, it's, look at that, look at that. It's just a horrible erecting job. Didn't even secure down. And even when you come inside here, all right now here we are in the inside of the building that uh, they didn't even plumb it up they didn't even put the base angle and all that on right and over here they if you get a look at right here looking straight on that column you can see how it's out of plumb out of whack they didn't even plumb it up uh when they screw these panels on the doors really don't operate and function well because they're out of plumb. And then they didn't even do the bracing over here. They left off the, uh, the bracing. 
And then this is just ridiculous when they do bracing and all that like this. Typically, you'll do a system like this if you have a door and there's nowhere else that you could brace. But here they could, but they didn't. And really in Florida, you should be posting beam. You really shouldn't use light gauge, you know, columns. But a lot of them try to get by with this stuff because then they say, oh, it's like posting beam because they have a beam up there at the top. Ridiculous, ridiculous. But... Now, if it's a real true post and beam, it'll be steel column, steel beam, and then your bracing is going to go over here to the column. And what happens a lot of times is when they try to do this system, you got to make sure that the concrete's right. But a lot of them will just come in and just anchor to the four inch, <laughs> five inch, whatever concrete, and be done with it, which is terrible because when a storm comes by, it's going to just blow it away. Um, just. A lot of things about this, you know, building, I just do not like what they did. It was just, just, just horrible. Uh, then I want you to see where they came in and look how twisted this beam is. And they did the bracing, how twisted. And the stress that they have on that beam. And you come around... And then when you're walking right underneath of it, and then you'll see how twisted up there it is. It's just all out of whack. And then they finally they did put this bracing in over here, but it's still not even secure. Look at that. Look how loose. <laughs> But they didn't even anchor it down right and all that over here. Not even tight. Just a very, very sad job. You can just see, look at this. Look at that. <laughs> Not even fastened and they didn't even put the angle down right either. Uh, just that I want to sit there and show people that... Uh, Having the lowest number isn't always the best thing. Uh, you really need to check out who you're having put the building together and designing it. It makes all the difference. But I see it happen so many times where people, all they care about is just that lowest number, lowest number. And these are the tragedies that you end up, end up with. And then people like myself have to come out and help people solve it and fix it and correct it. Uh, it's it's just a shame, but I mean, but these erectors should, when they're cutting the trim, you know, get you some tin snips. Do it the right and proper way, and you should always get the building plumbed up first. Put your J trim and stuff around the framed openings and the doors. Get everything and all that plumbed up, and your base trim everything on before you sheet. You know, and then you won't run into these issues if you do it the proper steps and do it the proper way. And that's what I want people and all that to see here and to understand, to educate, you know, themselves to really look at who you're getting to do your building, you know, and, and know terminology and know what you're getting, you know. And that's one thing with Mike David Buildings, I like to show people what they're getting and really go over things with them to make sure that it's done right and when I manage a project it gets done the right way because I make sure that it gets done the right and proper way that even the building gets designed and manufactured the right and proper way there's only a select few that I, I, I like to use uh, for, for my buildings and even when it comes to e erecting um, you just got to be able to manage and make them do it, you know, the right way. And that's why I wanted to show you all this so that way you can get an understanding. Don't always think that that lowest number is the best number because it's not. And just want to show you all this and I hope you all have a wonderful and blessed day.